shit is true, you carry I'm back in the days I was broke Man, I was trying to steal some coke Jugging niggas selling soap Anything to get that dope And now niggas selling out of shows Fuckin' bitches all in my show I remember being broken down bad Now I pay nothing for my sneakers cause I'm nav You can't get a feature so he mad I ain't nothing like these rappers, they won't last I don't wanna call it, now she's sad Cause I'm getting money, fucking bitches living fast Every time I dress, I'm popping tags And every time I'm buying, I'm paying cash Make sure you smack that like button, hit that subscribe button And we will get this thing started Let's go Yo YouTube, what is going on? It's your boy Creative back with another 2K17 video for you guys. And as you can see, this is a little different. I I got a new webcam. It's a new HD webcam, so I'm using my webcam as a, like a test kind of thing for this video. So you get to see me, and I'm also gonna do a hand cam for this video. If you clicked on this um, this late in the year, then I'm assuming either you just love to watch me, or which is which is highly unlikely or you need to learn how to dribble now if you don't know how to dribble this isn't like anything crazy new for you guys so when you come in here and watch this video and comment this is like this is like 2015 2012 kind of dribbling i don't care i'm sh i'm making this video for everybody that doesn't know how to dribble okay so this video is is basically going to show you how to do the momentum crossover the slow version and the fast version with the hand cam so that way you can practice since since this is the end of the year nobody really cares about this game anymore but this way while you're playing and, and goofing around if you have a playmaker or somebody that can decently dribble you can practice you can practice doing dribbles now and then by the time next year comes around you'll be good to go like you'll be set you'll be, you'll be killing everybody in the game right off the bat so that being said let's get straight into the video and i'll show you how to do this momentum now so if you know it already know what a momentum looks like great for you that's awesome if you don't know what it looks like i'm going to show you really quick this is what a momentum looks like that's the slow version that's the slow version that's the fast version he carries it from the left or like from the right to the left or left to the right really quickly and also you get a bunch of ankle breakers off this move there's a difference so a lot of people still dribble and they only do the slow momentum when you have the capability to do the fast ones if you don't know how to do the fast ones still stick around i got you covered i've spent enough time just yammering on i'm going to show you guys with a hand cam how to do this move and then uh one little combo with it after that you can use to not only break ankles like constantly but combo out of to get you started but before i do that i obviously have to show you guys my dribble moves now i would take the time to explain them all but i just want to get through this momentum and explain it really quickly for y'all that being said, that being said, right here, I'm going to show you just every dribble move I have. You can just copy them all if you want. Some of these are a little iffy, but with all these dribble moves on that I have exactly like this, it allows you to do the fast momentum. It makes your guy insanely fast, like period. So I would just stick with this and call it a day and normal. And then besides that, maybe... Uh, normal two hop jumper otherwise you are good to go and we will get right into showing you how to do this momentum so what you're gonna do to do this momentum crossover if you have the ball in your right hand what you're gonna do is simply with the ball in your right hand flick the right stick to the left exactly to the left the left stick is gonna go up and to the left and you're gonna hold the right trigger and in, in the order you're gonna hit those button in, buttons in, it's gonna be one, two, three. So it's gonna be, you're gonna do it really quickly, but you're gonna do it individually. So it's like, bum, bum, bum. Like, dun, dun, dun. It's like, it's a, it's a repetitive hit of the buttons. So you hit it in a quick like succession, really fast. One, two, three. But you hold the right trigger to keep on running. So you can see I have the ball in the right hand. I'm gonna go really quickly with the right stick to the left. The left stick up and to the left and then hold right trigger to continue to run that way so this is what it looks like in fast motion now if you're going to do it to the right you're going to do it the same exact way just the opposite way you're going to put the if you have the ball in the left hand you're going to put the right stick flip the right stick to the right the left stick up and to the right and then hold right trigger to keep running and and it's one two three 
one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. That's how you're gonna do it. So and this is this is quick. You can see I'm just one, two, three. One, two, three. Now, I, now, as you begin to do it, obviously, when you do one, two, three, you're gonna have to hold both the right trigger. You're gonna end up holding both the right trigger and the left stick because you're trying to run. But if you want to stop, you don't have to. You don't have to hold the left trigger, obviously. Okay, so I'm just basically gonna, instead of running all the way to the top of the key or the, or the left side of the court, I'm just gonna stop after and do it. So ball in the right hand, and I, you see I stopped after it. So now we're just gonna do a momentum cross. So now I'm gonna show you the, the quick difference between, it, it basically depends on how fast you do it. So to get the slow momentum crossover to, con to compare to the fast momentum crossover, it's just gonna depend on, on how fast, how good and fast you are at doing the, doing the buttons really, or like how, qu how quick you are at hitting, at hitting them, like one, two, three. If you do it slower, you're gonna get that that animation where you drop where you dribble twice. Now, if you have these drill moves I have on and you can do it real fast, you're gonna get the fast one most all the time. So the fast one just looks like one dribble, like that was the fast one, that was the slow one, that was the fast one, that was the fast one. Now the last uh, now the last move I'm gonna teach you to do with this is literally just gonna be. Now you, I'll teach you a couple combos maybe later, or you can figure out combos on your own. But the only other thing I would suggest you practice a lot is just not only just doing the momentum and stopping over and over like this, but um, basically when you do the momentum crossover, right? When you hit the momentum crossover, you just go at immediately after. You're gonna want to let go of the the entire controller for like a millisecond, like I mean literally a millisecond, and flick back to do it behind the back. It's gonna stop you in your tracks and let you go basically any way you want. So I'll show you what I mean. Momentum, momentum, stop. You get that fast animation. You see, you see what I'm talking about. And you can span this, and it breaks crazy amounts of ankles too. But it allows you to go any way you want. So for instance, if I'm over here and I do a momentum to the left, or if I do a momentum to the left or to the right, I have to go that way. But if you do this, you can you can go back this way real quick. Now, hopefully, as long as you practice, you should just be able to constantly do the momentum back and forth, and eventually you can learn not just to break people's ankles, but to do a lot of crazy combos out of this and like really mess some people up. And that would that is going to be not only fun for you, but fun for the rest of your team and you can get any open shot you want and you can get your teammates open and life is just going to be good because now you know the basic move of all basically great dribbling in 2k now so yeah i will still be editing and uploading regular gameplays i just haven't done anything tutorial in a while because i figured this has been overdone but i figured not only not to not only did I figure, but I know for a fact a lot of people play with centers and stuff because they don't know how to play guard and they don't know, and not only do I not know how to play guard, they don't know how to dribble real well. Um, but don't worry, I got you. Like I said, just get ready for next year. This is just to get everybody ready, get everybody on the same boat, you know, trying to help people out if you don't know how to do this. So thank you guys for watching. If this helped, leave a like. Make sure you hit that sub button if you have not already, if you're not subscribed to the channel. We're almost at 10,000 subscribers. Um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys later. Peace.